तुलसी सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद द्वंद भक्त बिंद समीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्रीनंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सामयुक्त बिंदाबनम मनोहर वाचाकल्पतरुश कृपा सिंधु विवच पतितान पावने वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुखंकोति वाचाल पंगुंगल हेतगिरी यत्तमह वंदे परमाधव बृंदावय तुलसी देव पिया वै केशव सचभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत् नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यासम तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदरुण ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरंचन तम शरण्यम भीतात्ह पुनुतपालीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारविंद यत्दपल्लवन खचंदमनीछटा विस्फुजीत गुपवधूषुदर्श पूर्णागर सागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामय कदा कृपा कौश श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्रीअदगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्रीअदगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कवितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबरो दिजबरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणाभारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरबंदी तो दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनी भावाण सदा नराण गंगा तरंगरमणीयटा कलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तो बाम भागम नारायण प्रिय मनंगमदापहारम वाराणसी पुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुष वदने लक्ष्मीज वक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संवीत सिंह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ज्ञानतः सुलभ मुक्तिर भुक्तिर ज्ञातिपुण्यतः श्रेय साधन सहस्रैर् 
कृष्ण भक्ति सुदूर लाभ ज्ञानतः सुलभ मुक्तिर भुक्तिर भुक्तिर्ज्ञादि पुण्यतः शेयम साधन सहस्रैर कृष्ण भक्ति सुदूर लाभ गौरी गोष्ठी भक्ति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुभा परमांस जगदगुरु सेट दैट बॉन्डेड सोल बाय इज पर्सनल एफर्ट कैन नेवर मीट विथ एनी मंगल ऑन द कंट्री कैन अरेंज बिग प्रॉब्लम इन इज ओन लाइफ गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुभा परमांस जगदगुरु सेट दैट बॉन्डेड सोल In the name of arranging personal mangal, can arrange big a mangal in his life. Bonded soul, bonded soul can never arrange mangal by his personal effort. So anyway, we need to be controlled by Guru Vishnu Bhagwan. We need to be controlled by Guru Vishnu Bhagwan, not by Maya. If we like to get controlled by Maya. then in infinity period we cannot get any mangal impossible if we like to get control by maya devi then in infinity period we cannot meet with any mangal we can run in the way of amangal so shuddha guru vishnu sangha association of pure guru vishnu is very very important so important that you can understand if i start reciting bhagavatam so important that in chaitanya chaitamrita it is written sadhu sanga sadhu sanga sarva shastre koy lobha matro sadhu sanga sarva siddhi hoy one second divided by 11 that much time is more than sufficient to give you absolute success i mean krishna prema but still we cannot realize it it is impossible because that's why bhakti vinod thakur praying unto the lotus feet of bhagwan that you please arrange so that i can increase my faith unto the lotus feet of guru vishnu every fraction of second vaishnave vishwas vidhi hok chane chane भक्तिम ठाकुर प्रेइंग अन टू अ लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान प्रभु यू अरेंज सो दैट एवरी फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड आई कैन इंक्रीज माई फेथ अन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव अदरवाइज द इम्पॉसिबल फॉर मी टू काट माया नेक्स्ट टू इम्पॉसिबल आई टोल्ड पॉइंट इज दैट पोप आर स्पीकिंग दिस वे i mean to fight with maya you can spend infinity period if you can go on spending infinity period but you cannot come out successful you have to depend upon shuddha guru vaishnav then you can come out successful otherwise not big problem main point is that main problem with bonded soul is that bonded soul is already in maya i mean in the trap of maya but still they cannot realize that we are in maya that is the main tragedy bonded soul main problem is that if you go on speaking countless philosophy bhakti mohan tagor speaking then still they cannot come out successful if they can grow a little bit faith in guru vaishnav hari naam little bit maybe previously he has done so much wrong thing he wanted to destroy his or her own life but still at present growing some faith unto the lotus feet of guru i don't know why he like to hear hari katha he like to meet guru vishnu he like to hear aprakit hari naam mahamantra in that case bhakti mein talk speaking they can grow mangal otherwise bonded soul those are those who are you know those who have taken resolution to go to hell 
I can enjoy, enjoy, I can enjoy my life. What you can do? Totally enjoying mood. In that case, they cannot hear anything. Bhakti Mataji says, you can go on speaking Harikatha, the Harikatha can come, bounce, can come back. Big problem. Main point is that, bonded soul cannot realize that we are in trap of Maya. If they could realize, then at all the question of making himself or herself free from the trap can come. First of all, they cannot realize. That is the main problem. That's why they never want to get free from Maya. That's why they never want to get free from Maya. Suppose somebody is there inside jail, jail, inside jail. If inside jail is feeling comfortable, it happens so. Some poor, you know, very dangerous, those who are, you know, uh, people, dangerous people, they are, they are doing so antisocial activities, everything. They are taken inside jail, somehow they can come out, after again they can do double. So this is not solution. Suppose policeman going to put him into inside jail. But inside jail, if one can come back, then he can do double problem. So it is not solution. The only solution is to get the association of Shuddha Guru Vishnu. Like the case, you know, by the association of Naraji Maharaj, that cruel hunter, he was changed. He can go through Mahaprabhu speaking to Sanatan Gosai. Even cruel hunter who is killing all animal all the time, but his life change by the association of Naraji Maharaj. Who wrote Ramayan, you know, Balmiki Muni? You heard the name of Balmiki Muni, who wrote Ramayan originally. He was also a dangerous dockhead, lo looter. By the association of Naraji Maharaj, his heart what changed. Even beast and birds, by the association of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, they all changed. Even Ferusa's beast and birds, Ferusa's bird is also there. In Amazon, here, there, you cannot imagine. By the association of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they all changed their mood. So the main Problem is that bonded soul cannot realize we are in bonded condition. That's why they cannot, they cannot even imagine something else. Though we can come out of Maya, they think it is our dream world, dreamland. They are in dreamland. They are leading their life very nicely. Whatever they are doing, they think it is okay, very nice. That is the main problem. So, by any kind of bhajan procedure, like the sloka I started with, if you follow the way of jnana, uh, many Vaishnavas at present, they are not Vaishnavas, they are following tantra, mantra, sarajanta, they are trying. Even astrological prediction can come false by the power of Guru Vaishnava. Tanto, at present they are applying this. Tanto, Mantu, Sarujanto. Guru Vaishnava can realize. They are applying this. But still they cannot come out successful. Because by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava Balaram, everything they can do. So, if you follow the way of Jnana, you cannot come out successful. If you follow the trap of Yoga, you cannot come out successful. All little bit you can come out successful, but still it is not permanent solution. And Karma Kando itself is one kind of trap. Karma Kando itself one kind of trap. If you like to solve, you are doing karma, you like to solve one, right? Family man, those who are leading family life, naturally they like to solve one problem. After that another problem they like to solve. But ultimately that they can discover they are surrounded by thousands of problems. 
like uh, atomic reaction, you know. Eh? Bombard made of one and daughter element with that chain wise. It can bombard other, this way energy releasing. Enormous energy. Atomic reaction. This way, karma kando is not solution. You can never get any solution. If you like to do some karma, I like to solve this problem. Ultimately, you can find another problem standing. After that, you can solve that problem, you can another problem standing. This way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to say repeatedly to stop us committing this kind of wrong activities. If you go on doing karma, no solution. Even jnana, to some extent you can go, but still you can fall down. Gyane prayasa mudabhasya namanti eva yivanti sanmukharitam bhavadiyo vartam stanis sita suti gatam to nubang manovhir ye prayasa ajito jito piyo sistoi sri lokyam. Brahma ultimately discovered himself helpless. And speaking, Prabhu, I so long I was trying to uh, apply the procedure of jnana. But I find I am helpless. Through jnana, yoga, by personal effort, nobody never can realize Bhagavan. Nobody never can understand who is Bhagavan. But he is going to surrender completely. Say, I am helpless. You please help me. In that case, you can. If he is going to seek divine help from Guru Vishnu Bhagavan, then surely one solution can come out. Otherwise, big problem there. They cannot. So, Brahma speaking, my jnana effort, I like to leave. Jnana prayasam udapasho. I like to throw, I like to throw away long distances. I can never try. I can never try, I can never try to play my brain. Again, Gane Prayasam Udapasya, Namanti Eva. Namanti Eva Mane Eva mean affirmative. <coughs> namanti Eva mean, Nama mean submission. When you are going to pay pranam to somebody, to some Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan, then surely, you are going to develop humble moves. Or if you are copper, then your pranam is also useless. Main point is that people, they are less interested to distinguish, they are less interested to understand the difference between pure Vaishnava and other, other those other karmis or ganis in the guise of Vaishnava. That is the main problem. That is the most dangerous problem. Bhakti Muta was speaking, to understand a non-devotee, a sannyasi, acharya, anybody, non-devotee, he is not at all devotee. It looks like devotee. He is busy with karma kanda. Karma kanda means definition is not devotee. Devotee means devotion. Devotion means you will have to try your best for the complete satisfaction of Krishna. If you cannot do, then somehow you can do bhakti. No, not karma kanda, but still you are making mistake on nobilas, then contaminated. Then this kind of bhakti devotion cannot satisfy Bhagavan. You are trying, but it's contaminated. One example uh, I heard from our Guru Bhargava that how Bhagavan cannot accept this kind of bhakti. Suppose somebody cooking nice paramanna, very tasteful, with Indian ghee, Indian cow, they say ghee, very tasteful, very nice paramanna. So tasty paramanna, you cannot even imagine. With everything. But after that, when is going to somebody going to you know, serve to Vaishnava, then they are taking paramanna, they throw, throw, they throw. Because there is stone chip. You don't know. 25, 30 years, 40 years back, we know in our life. They purposely put stone chip, white stone chip inside rice to make more, more and more profit. And big problem. 
Even you cannot understand this stone chip, like small rice. After that, you can, you can take rice, you cannot take. This way, though the Paramanu preparation is very good, very nice, very tasty, but still, Guru Vaishnava, Bhagavan cannot take because there is some contamination. Similarly, all different kind of, you know, anartha, all different kind of annavilas can make contamination. So, Bhagavan surely cannot accept. Because the definition of pure, because the definition of pure devotion is annavilashita sunyam, jnana karmadi anabritam, anukulena kishnanu silanam bhakti ruttama. So, annavilashita sunyam, Annavilasita sunyam. There should not be any smell of Annavilas. Even not smell. That's why Annavilas, Annavilas and Annavilasita. There is noun and adjective, you know. There is. So Annavilas, I can use that noun, Annavilas. Annavilasita is going to clarify that the, from, a be, from, the, from the very root cause. You will have to eradicate. So, Annavilasita Sunyam, Gyan Karmadi Anabritam. Gyan Karmadi Sunyam, not speaking. Sunyam means zero. Annavilasi, Annavilas Sunyam means there should not be any smell of Annavilas. And Gyan Karmadi Anabritam, uncovered by Gyan Karmadi, not zero. Here in this case, not speaking zero. Gyan Karma should not be zero level. But speaking, uncovered. What do you mean? Annavilata sunnam, jnana karma, anabrita, uncovered. Because jnana karma must be there. But it should not be contaminated with, with mayavat. Or devotee is cooking. It is also one kind of karma externally. Devotee cooking. In a temple, one devotee cooking in the night time. Another man cooking in the daytime taking 10,000 salary. So, daytime one man, married man, how much purity is maintained, I don't know. Most of the temples, you can find this kind of case. This kind of case, you can go and discover. The cooking. But that kind of cooking, Bhagavan accepting or not, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Many such answer I have given in Corona Pure regarding Prasadam, Bandara, Mahotsav, everything. I wanted to clarify. That time, exclusive situation was there. Everybody trapped into the room. They are bound to hear. This way. So, they are cooking. So, daytime cooking, one man is a paid man. He is taking salary. So, Bhagavan not accepting it. Paid man is not devotional. Activity is not. So, any other organization you can find, uh, those brahmachari, sannyasi, they are getting all salary. I'm laughing, ha, 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 how they are doing bhakti. They're getting salary, brahmachari, sannyasi. How salary mean? Salary mean you are paid man. Salary mean you are paid man. So how you can? It's not devotional activities. I don't know how they are doing. So, daytime, who is cooking is doing karma and night time one nice devotee, old devotee, somehow is do doing cooking, night time. He has full devotion activity, is cooking with full respect and love, that is called bhakti. So, same externally, same activities. Externally, same activities. One man cooking in the daytime, it's when he is also doing Devotional activities. Why not? He's cooking. No, it's not devotional activities. But the night time who is cooking is called devotion. So externally it seems all the same. But you will have to realize. Bhakti Tagore many times wanted to say because it is the question of our life and death. Be careful. We are not sitting here to joke with you. There is a question of our survival of our real self. Now, it is a question 
of our survival of our real self. We are not sitting for making one politics. We have no time. It is a question of life and death. So we cannot make any wrong decision. If you make any wrong decision, you can get lost in this infinity world. Infinity world, cosmic world is infinity. For infinity period, if you can run, there is endless. In this condition, what is your duty? You will have to decide. You will have to decide what to do, what not to do. If you make mistake, one single mistake, one single mistake in your life decision can spoil your total life. Be careful. One small mistake. It seems nothing, no mistake. But one small mistake can destroy your whole life. Be careful. So, Bhakti Vinod Thakur many times used to say, Bhakti Vinod Thakur many times used to say, don't take, don't make any mistake, don't take any mistake about identifying a pure Vaishnav or identifying a cheater. If you make mistake, you are going to accept the cheater as guru. Then a big problem and get lost. You are going to accept that pure devotee as non-devotee, eh? useless. Then big problem. Both way. It is one kind of dilemma. Big, big problem, dilemma. If you understand one cheater, he is just cheating. Collecting money, these are not. His life is not dedicated for the service of Bhagavan. I mean, he is not preaching for the absolute benefit of common people. His technique is to how to collect money. I can speak sweetly. I can be a nice man. I can give donation. I can take and come back. But you are, do, you are indulging in cruel activities. You are indulging in... I, I think you have not gone through this kind of Siddhanta Vichar. By Bhakti Mithra Prabhu. I think so. Otherwise, how you become surprised? There is no question of because in, in my presence, in my presence, I am watching one man going to speak all useless bichar to one like she is coming. If I go on speaking all wrong siddhanta, if I misguide her, then she cannot understand. Okay, is Mahara speaking is right? Is Sanyas is speaking? But I am cruel. Then I am indulging in cruel activities. Man, people thinking I can take one sword and cut, I can beat something, you know, provide a fist of fury. This is called, uh, you know, actually they think this is called cruel activities. Physical assault, mental torture, they think it is actually. Uh, Actually, Jivhingsa. Jivhingsa, no? Jivhingsa. Bhisa is a Bengali term. Jivhingsa means he is going to uh, do some cruel activities with the jivas. People think so. People know physical assault, everything, insult, it is called actually cruel activity. Not that. Papa speaking, Jiva Hingsa means. Prabhupada explaining, many times we published, but nobody cares. Jiva, jiva Hingsa, Jiva Hingsa means, Jiva Hingsa doesn't mean only that physical assault. Jiva Hingsa, actual meaning, inner meaning is that, Jiva Hingsa, inner meaning of Jiva Hingsa means to do some, to misguide that Jivatma. Jivatma is not body. Jivatma is not body. Jivatma is there inside you. You are now in trap. You never want to be delivered because you feel comfortable. But the day you can realize, then all you can feel helpless, all over. Guru Vaishnava gone from this world. Those who are the topmost manufacturer, all they gone, then you can feel helpless. You are not taking any step on time. Big problem. So, people thinking Jivhingsa means 
physical assault, everything. But Jivingsa, Prabhupada speaking, actual, Prabhupada speaking, actual meaning of Jivingsa is, is to misguide Jiva, Jivatma, which is there inside your body. Prabhupada speaking, actual Jivingsa means you are giving advice to anybody about Karma Kanda or the track of enjoyment. Okay, you can enjoy, only you can see Hare Krishna is over. Somebody advised, okay, no problem, you can go on speaking Harinam Bas. They are not speaking this way, Harinam can never come. They are not guiding them properly. They are also themselves misguided, they are going to misguide others. This way, they are going to bring a big disaster all over the world. I am not speaking in Bhagavatam. Bhakti Muttaka is speaking in the commentary of Upadeshamrita. Upadeshamrita. If you go through the commentary of Bhakti Thakur, you can find. There it is written, Bhakti is speaking. They are going to destroy the whole world and they are going to destroy themselves. Those who are going to create, they are those who are going to create a new track. Those who are going to create a new track. They are saying this is nice. But I can show you, all Guru Vargo never wanted to speak that way. Some Acharya, somebody going to misguide others, whole world. They are speaking. This is the procedure. This way we will have to do. But this is not written. Whatever knowledge I have received in my life or you are going to receive from me, all should be in line of Guru Varga, Parampara, lineage. If my one single speech, word, is deviated from the track of Guru Varga, for that I will have to get great punishment, not a matter of joke. If my single word, when only one word, is deviated from the track of Guru Varga, then I will have to get punishment for that. Why you speak this way? So, Harikatha, Kirtan, mean always in line with Guru Varga. Sautapantha. I have no right to sing something which is new, not in Guru Parampara, which I have not received, which I have not received in Guru Parampara. It is my mentally concocted. Then surely, Bhakti was speaking that Acharya, that preacher, that and all his followers can go to hell for infinity view. And the newly invented, newly invented or this, you know, where? also can dis get destroyed, maybe maximum 20 years, 30 years can go. After that, his followers, they can start realizing our Guru, they have all spoke wrong. They can themselves. This is happening at present. They can discover. Our Guru, they have told this. But he is speaking scientifically this point. So, so. But out of biasness, they are speaking, Jai Guru Dev, Jai Guru Dev, purposely. Because they like to maintain the false ego shown by their Gurudev. They are less interested to grasp that absolute truth. I say you, I can challenge you if somebody coming in front of me, if I am honest, if I am not cheating, then I am 100% I can see you. If you have seen a man five days ago, his eyes, his activities, his mood, within one or two days after hearing Harikatha, you can find so far one kind of sweetness developing inside, because bhakti developing. You yourself can discover. Only five days ago, a dirty looking. But after five days, after hearing Harikatha, doing Kirtan, doing Gaishnava Association, it's feeling nice, changing everything. This is called actually Harikatha. This is called actually devotional activity, otherwise not. Now, point is that, many times I told that Pratishtha Lagiya Shattva Acharan I am playing I am play duplicity only to collect Pratishtha. Pratishtha Lagiya Shattva Acharan Lobo Hato Sadakami Bengali Kirtan, you can go and find. Bhakti Mitra writing. Only for Pratishtha, all over the all over the world, not all over the world. In this 14 world or in infinity world, 
material world. Wherever, whatever problem you can find fighting going on, behind this the secrecy is that Patishta. Even in the heaven, Indra, Varun, oh, these are some poly, all due to Patishta. Be careful. Anywhere, even with Manirishis, Manirishis, they like to prove that my position is more high. Like one example I can give. You can go stunned, surprised. One example I can give. You heard the name of Vashishta Muni. You heard the name of Vashishta Very interesting. You heard the name of Vashishta Muni. It's a very nice history. But Vashishta Ganjok is following. But you believe Bhagavan. Okay. And uh, another, uh, his name is Vishamitra Muni. You heard the name of Vishamitra Muni? No? It's important. We are doing, you know, Gayatri, all given by Rig Veda, Vishamitra Muni. Vishamitra Muni was the guru of Ramchandra, externally. Hello, Bhagavan himself going to accept guru. Ramchandra accepted somebody guru, Ashtabhakra Muni, and also, also, you know, Ashtabhakra Muni. Ashtabhakra his body is bent. He cannot walk. Full bent. Ashtabhakko, eight place in the body, distorted. Ashtabhakko, very powerful. He accepted Ashtabhakko Muni as Guru. Anyway, Ramchandra, Bhagavan himself. And he accepted Vishwamitra Muni as a guidance and also Sikha Guru. Uh, how to uh, learn is a missile, everything, how to bow and arrow, how to this technology. So he is also Guru. He also accepted as a Guru. Bhagavan Sri Krishna accepted Bhaguri Muni. Bhaguri Muni. Bhagavan Sri Krishna accepted Bhaguri Muni. And also sometimes we heard, he speaking, Durvasa Muni is my Guru. <laughs> Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted Keshav Bharati as a Sanyas Guru and Ishar Puribad as Mantra Guru. Accepted, no? So, Bhagavan going to show this kind of thing. So that Vishamutta Muni was very powerful, powerful in the sense, not in devotional line. They are astute and penances. You can try yourself. If you try to do astuity and penances, suppose you are less interested about devotional activities. For the time being, I am speaking. Suppose, I have seen many Harikatha was there by the mercy of Nityananda in Haridwar. Many Harikatha. Haridwar. Sometime, I am going to take darshan of Ganga. I find one Maya, Mayavadi in front of me. I am not talking. I look at one Mayavadi. I was going some place through ropeway. I find Mayavadi in front of me. He look at me. I look at him. But after looking, I feel something. Direct feeling. Direct feeling. That Mayavadi is white cloth, like me, this kind of place, you know, there. And I look at him, I realize some power is there inside him. Not a matter of joke. It is matter of direct feeling. Though I am trying to get established in devotional law, I cannot say it is my false ego. Because I am a big you know, devotional law acharya. I am not speaking that. But I am trying to act as a child. Because my acharan should be perfect. So that nobody can find fault or at all find fault, I will, I will be. Very happy. You can show me what wrong I have done. I can try to rectify this more. But I look at that Mayavadi, very long figure, very nice, very gentleman, very nice gentleman. I look at him and he look at me. I can realize some power is there inside that Mayavadi. You can say how you can realize? It's an automatic. Because through astuity and finances, you can try yourself in your life. One month, two months, six months. I, I am less interested about astuity and penances. 
I am interested about devotion. But still, under the guidance of Prabhupada, I gone through some strict rules and regulation for two months in one seat, one asan, three books, recitation, paran, so much lakhs of harinam. After the three or four times, you can take water. In the mud, some boiled, you can throw in mud and offer to, you know, first of offer, throw in mud and take like dog. Under the guidance of Guru Prabhupada, our Ban Maharaj also done. But of course, their purpose is different. My purpose is just like Prabhupada, not like Mayavadi. So I went and reciting Bhagavatam, 18,000 slokas, Chaitanya Charitamito, or so many books, two, three times in a day. After that, I complete and take rest for three, four hours, again get up and. And if you go to urinal, you have to wash up to this point and wa throw your cloth, wash gamcha, wash do achaman, again sit. Or if you go to, it is not possible, sometime if it happens so, then you have to take full bath, again, again do thila. It happens so in my life. Everybody knows. In Vindavan, when I used to do Baldao Archan by the order of Guru Maharaj, by chance, because I am not habituated to take so much chili, this, that, the cooking, so sometimes feeling problem. I already started earning everything done. Now I have to enter into temple. Now 4.30. I have to enter into temple to do arati. I see some problems, stomach problem. I need to go to bathroom again. By chance. Long ago. 25 years back. Now no problem happening. Then again I take bath. Again, I do tilak. Then I enter. Winter season, beating cold. But still, there is no... Everybody knows. Not that I am making some you know, philosophy to get pratishta. Not that. So, under the guidance of Gurudev, I have seen the astuity and finances of Guru Maharaj. Our astuity finances mean uh, Akadashi, recitation of Bhagavatam, or Chaitanya Jitamita, do Harinam, Controlling over your prasadam, sleeping, all. This is called astuity. We cannot show astuity and finances like Mahabadi. This prohibited strictly. If you do so, then you can lose bhakti. If you do purposely, I can do astuity. But your astuity and finances and bhairagya can give just negative result. Negative result. Bhairagya. If my Vairagya is not suitable for positive Krishna Bhakti, then big problem. So, it should be in favor of Bhagavan. All my wearing nice clothes should be in favor of Bhagavan. Follow. All my eating, sleeping, going, looking, any activities, any of my activities should be under the control of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. Then you can get respite from Maya. Otherwise, infinity period, you go on doing bhajan, do on, cannot. First of all, you have to realize, all your activities, all your thoughts, all everything, your sleeping, eating, going, thinking, speaking, all each and every activities in your life should be under the control of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. Then and only then, I cannot misguide you. I am not cruel. I am speaking the cruel. You can think, Mara speaking heavy. It's like cruel. Yes, like cruel, not cruel. I am speaking heavy to save you, not to kill you. You have come here to save yourself. And I have no right to kill you just because you cannot give me pranami. I cannot misguide you. That is the main problem. So, when I Look at the Mahavadi, I find his big power is there. He is looking, sharp looking, because he is doing some astuity and finances. If somebody is going to do astuity and finances, automatically you can grow some power, but that power is not so important. Somebody can say, from tomorrow I can start. No, don't do that. You can lose bhakti. I wanted to speak about that Vishamitra Muni, what I mean to say, I come up to this point, long history. So, men, 
and to, to discuss about Vishwamitra Muni. Vishwamitra doing astuity and finances, and he is approaching uh, Vashishtha Muni. Why not you declare, why not you declare that I am Brahmarsi? Why not you declare that I am Brahmarsi? Because he is the authentic personality, Vashishtha Muni. If he is going to declare, then everybody can believe. So he is going to put pressure on Vashishtha Muni. Why not you declare? Why not you declare? Why not you declare that I am Brahmarsi? Vashishtha Muni is saying, now time is not proper. Now that kind of maturity not coming inside. What? Yes. That kind of maturity not developed by you. What you say? Yes, I am saying. The day you can develop, automatically I can declare. Vashishtha Muni gone. Again, after doing a study on finances, again coming, now I have done so much a study on now why not you declare me as Brahmarsi? Still today, time is not proper. You can go up to that point. What? I am not up to that point? Not up to that point. He has become excited and Vashishtha Muni is very calm and quiet. Finally, finally, what happens? Finally, what happens? Vishwamitra Muni wanted to get some, uh, wanted to take some revenge, retaliation. Wanted to get some. He is not going to have some jealousy must be there. So why is not going to declare? So I can kill. Kill whom? All the uh, eight or ten sons. I forget the number. Of Vashishtha Muni. He kill one by one, kill, he one by one, he kill all the sons of Vashishtha Muni. So that Vashishtha Muni can feel uh, very problem, Vashishtha Muni can feel nervous, but still Vashishtha Muni not feeling nervous. Not feeling nervous. He is straight. Because it is a symptom of pure devotee. At any situation, at any situation, whatever the situation may be, whatever dangerous, but still they cannot feel nervous. Follow? They can never feel nervous. At any situation. All group, they like to attack Prabhupada, but still Prabhupada is calm and quiet. Because any kind of fear developing inside, inside you, for that, who is responsible? You yourself responsible. Any kind of fear developing inside you, who is responsible for that? Who? You yourself. Because you have annavilas. If you have failure to concentrate in Adhyaga and Tattva, if you are just failure to concentrate in Adhyaga and Tattva, then some sort of fear appears inside you. It's an automatic. Because we all have dual conception. One is Maya, one is, I know you come, but still you have dual conception, still today. Sometimes speaking about Maya, sometimes Bhagavan. But I am not speaking the someday, uh, you can never go out of that. You can go, but at present you have dual conception. You are thinking about children, what they are doing wrong, maybe they are doing some wrong. So this way of mind going that way. You are failure to concentrate on the lotus seat of Bhagavan. Absolutely cannot do. Your mind can go here and there. Because you are thinking about Maya. My son, daughter, wife, children, all my service, all my activities, all Maya. All Maya. All Maya. But if you are going to uh, going to do something for Bhagavan, then for If you are doing something for Bhagavan, that is devotion. You are trying to do. Absolutely, you are trying. This way, Vishamitra Muni wanted to take revenge. Finally, Vishamitra Muni came with one sword. Night time. Night time. Very gradually coming. And there, Vashishtha Muni and his wife, Arundhuti, both of them sitting in a rock. 
garden, rock, not inside bhajan kutir, in a rock, Vasishta Muni, Vasishta Muni, and his wife Arundhuti, chastity lady, both of them sitting, and our Vasishta Muni speaking. Vasishta Muni speaking to wife. Now look, now look at this moon god. They look at the moon god, full fledged, full moon god, so bright light all around, so bright light, but still soothing feeling, you are not burning feeling, so nice. The total garden and all around, river and hills, all illuminated by a nice, tasty, bright light, just like the power of, power of, power of, whom? Dur and that, and uh, Vishamitra Muni. He is praising. He, Vaishishtha Muni going to praise. Vaishishtha Muni going to praise about our, I uh, know, that the moonlight going to prove just like the astuity and finances uh, done by our, uh, our, Vishamitra Muni. You see, Vishamitra Muni Bhajan, eh, Bhajan, I can, should not speak Bhajan, doing a student with such a, and now like the light is, you know, all effulgence going to move around. Then, Vishamitra Muni hearing, well, I thought he is a cruel, he is uh, have some jealousy against me, but I discover he is going to Praise me, going to glorify me. When that Muni, Vishamitra Muni discovered, well, he had no jealousy against me. Simply because I was not qualified, he was not ready to give. Now I discover, he praising my astuity and balance. Oh my God, I have done some mistake and going to throw that sword and fell down onto a lotus feet of Vaishishta Muni. I have done mistake. I wanted to take revenge against you. Now I, today I discover I am wrong. You are not done. Then Vaishishta Muni going to take him, take him from ground, was paying prostrate on over and embrace. Today you are qualifying. Now today is the time you are, you are qualified. Today you are qualified, today I can declare you are, you are actually Brahmarshi. After that, he started doing tapas in such a way, he could see some Veda mantra, some Risha. In Sanskrit we say Risha. I mean the, some verses of Veda. I mean what Gayatri mantra you are doing, na? Gayatri mantra what you are doing? Gayatri mantra, speaking by that Muni. Vishamitra Muni. So this way, we think Guru Vaishnava have some jealousy, some fighting mood. We think so. It's very, totally wrong. Guru Vaishnava never have any jealousy. What is the fact? What is the absolute truth they are speaking? They are not having any jealousy or fighting mood or competitive competition mood with anybody. But people misunderstand them. Now you can say that why Guru Vaishnava taking Pratishtha? We have seen. Popa speaking or in Kirtan, Narottamata speaking. We should not take any Pratishtha. We should not take any Pratishtha. Because Pratishtha only Guru Vaishnava can accept. Vaishnavi Pratishtha, only pure Guru Vaishnav can, only pure Guru Vaishnav can accept Pratishtha. We have no right. Because they are the representative of Balaram. Or I would say, Balaram himself coming in the form of Gurudev. It's very, Baladev Maharaj coming in the form of Guru Vaishnav to save us. It is, evidence is there in Bhagavatam. Jano Krishna de Vimukha Adharma Silasya Sudukhita Sya 
अनुग्रहा हो चरती नूनम भूतानि भाव्यानि जनार्दन भागवत जी महाप्राण से जन से कृष्णाद विमुख से दैवाद अधर्मशील से सुदुखित अनुग्रहाय हो चरती नूनम भूतानि भाव्यानि जनार्दन से ऑल द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ भगवान ऑल द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ भगवान दे आर डिप्यूटेड पर्सनैलिटीज मैसेजर दे आर कमिंग दिस मेटेरियल प्लानेट टू सर्च आउट हुई इज फॉल एन हुई इज फॉल एन हे कम टू मी कम टू मी दो आर फॉल एन दे आर सोइंग मोर एंड मोर मर्स द मोर फॉल एन द मोर फॉल एन है द जीवात्मा इज द मोर मर्सी जी मोर फॉल एन इज द नेचर ऑफ गोवरांग मोर फॉल एन मीन्स मोर मर्सी हलो टू डेलीवर दिस वे इट इज रिटर्न इन भागवतम दोज प्योर गुरु वैष्णव दे आर द डिप्यूटेड पर्सनैलिटीज मैसेजर्स ऑफ भगवान दे आर कमिंग हियर बाय द ऑर्डर ऑफ भगवान डू यू थिंक प्रोपाद इज अ ऑर्डनरी पर्सनैलिटी लाइक यू एंड मी प्रोपाद इज अ डिप्यूटेड पर्सनैलिटी भक्ति ठाकुर दे आर कमिंग टू डेलीवर आस डेलीवर आस और वेर इज फॉल एन सो रिटर्न इन भागवत दिस वे दे आर कमिंग हियर सो यू कैन आक्स महाराज देन वाई दे आर टेकिंग प्रतिष्ठा दे आर नॉट टेकिंग प्रतिष्ठा दे आर टेकिंग वैष्णवी प्रतिष्ठा दे आर नॉट टेकिंग प्रतिष्ठा दे आर नॉट टेकिंग मेटेरियल प्रतिष्ठा दे आर टेकिंग वैष्णवी प्रतिष्ठा वैष्णवी प्रतिष्ठा मीन वॉट एवर ऑनर यू आर गिविंग टू मी वॉट एवर गार्ड एंड वॉट एवर थिंग I, if I am going to accept it, putting in my pocket. Of course, I have no pocket. Anyway, if you put in pocket, then I can get punishment. I will have to give everything, whatever you are giving to me, all to my Guru Dev. He can offer to his Guru Dev. He can. This is a parampara through parampara through parampara. All honor, prestige, and respect, whatever you are giving, all can go unto a lotus feet of Balaram, chain wise. chain wise can this way you can go baloram but still externally you can find gurudev is taking pratishtha somebody offering flower giving garland doing mantra glorifying but guru vaishnav they are bound to accept it because it is vaishnavi pratishtha popa speaking i am acting as acharya popa speaking i am acting as acharya and if i feel sakhi to take pushpanjali everything garden from is one kind of duplicity popa speaking i am sitting to act as acharya and do don't give garland don't give push it is one kind of duplicity popa speaking i am acting as acharya so they are going to discover myself as the idealism if you in your life to if you in your life going to accept one fallen soul as your idealism then you can get feedback what i can do you are foolish if you are going to accept one fallen soul as a big acharya as your idealism then you can die we have nothing to do but suppose you understand the difference between a prakrit shabda brahma and material sound after hearing you can realize aprakit shabda brahma is one kind of firing aprakit sana it can go and it can hurt oh, shaking that's mean aprakit shabda brahma follow if you find no reaction by hearing harikatha bhajana a cold you know it is one can we are open when a cold reception you know cold reception eh Sometimes we are providing wide acclamation. Sometimes cold reception. We this we thinking his enemy. As ah, cold is ah nice calm. This way, after hearing Sabda Brahma, actual Hari Katha, you can feel some agitation. It's one kind of revolting reaction inside, her, and you can set back. This is called actual Hari Katha. After hearing so much Hari Katha, you feel no reaction, nothing. that's when it is not harikatha not at all. it's one kind of 
a dry philosophy, sweet philosophy, to capture you, your mind. You are feeling captivated by their sweet word, what you can do, nothing to do. So this way we see, Guru Vaishnava sometimes sitting in the chair, taking all the glorification from other people, hearing, getting girl and everything, but going to request me, don't take Pratishta. Hey, you yourself taking Pratishta, you are speaking, don't take Pratishta. Yes, there is some secrecy. Because he is the representative of Balaram. So, I can give you one example. When Guru Vaishnava is speaking, Bhakti Mahatma is writing, Tai Shishya Tabo Thakiya Sarvoda Naloi Bapu Jaka. Even Kitan is there. Nijo Sesto Jane Uchista Di Dane Hobe Obhiman of Har. Follow. Tai Shishya Tabo Thakiya Sarvoda Sarvoda Naloi Bapu Jaka. So, it is the feeling of disciple and uh, Shuddha Guru Vaishnava giving it, don't take Pratishtha, it can make you fall. You yourself taking Pratishtha, you are speaking not take Pratishtha. They are foolish, they don't understand. Suppose one example I can give. One man making one new building. One man making one new building, very nice building. After that very costly paint, costly paint, all around. Costly paint, all inside painting, outside, all design, everything. After that, going to give one advertisement, don't stick bill in this wall. He is writing, no? In your country, I don't know. In our country, we need to write. However, everybody can can't post a poster and write everything before vote. So, to stop people, to stop people writing something in my wall, I, I myself giving advertisement first. To stop people, to stop people doing nonsense, he can dirty, can write something. So I myself going to write, stick no bills here. That is, that is the same example. Guru Vaishnava gave Pratishtha and going to give advertisement, they don't accept Pratishtha. That you can take wrong way, it's up to you. But really it is so, Shuddha Guru Vaishnava, they never taking any Pratishtha. That's why they are so powerful. Question can come, why Prabhupada is so powerful? If you look at Pope, even, even our Guru Varga, Mahatma Kusana, everybody, but then my Guru Mahatma speaking, nobody can feel that kind of power to come in front of Prabhupada to look at his eyes and speak. So powerful. If you look, come in front of Prabhupada, you can feel fear. Uh, I mean, what do you mean to say? He cannot speak. So power. It is not power like Mayavadi. This power is because he is inside his heart, Bhagavan is there. And about that Mayavadi solution is there due to Asturian finances, whatever, Yogi Gani. I have seen in Himalaya, uh, different places I gone 25 long ago, many times. They have seen some, some, some yogi in cold water, beating cold. I have taken bath even in uh, Gomuk, where Ganga coming up that hilly, ice hill. There I go, I took bath. And if you put water, hand, then for half an hour you can see this. Yes. But that kind of. So one yogi is inside water. I say, why inside water? With one, one leg, is there up? One leg, this way. He's standing for a long time. You see what he's doing? Cold water, ice water. Hold it. So this kind of astutian penance, if you do, you can get some power. But that power can never be compared with devotional power. Like Hiranyakashiva Mahaprabhu told, I can clarify this point tomorrow. Today, no time. Mahaprabhu speaking to one Brahmachari, Sukrambar Brahmachari. He wanted to get entry inside the Sankirtan Rash of Mahaprabhu, but he was not allowed. 
Finally, he was allowed by Sivas Pandit, you can come inside room and do secretly and back under bed state. Very careful. Don't expose yourself. Okay, nice. Mahaprabhu doing kirtan. Mahaprabhu is who is there outside? Or I'm not getting any enjoyment today. No, no, nobody. Somebody is there. We check out. Then finally it was discovered. Suklambar Bandit. Then Suklambar coming out. Mahaprabhu going to chide him to teach us. Suklambar is not a matter of joke. He is the Bhagavad Parsha. Do you think that you are doing astuti and pinanza, you are drinking only milk, no rice, no chapati, only milk? So do you think that you are doing astuti and pinanza, that's why you can get me? See? Do you think simply because you are following some astuti and pinanza, you are drinking only milk, you can get me? Not so easy. Not so easy. That's why the first sloka I started to clarify so long time. One sloka to this. Follow. So, Mahaprabhu, what was the comment of Siman Mahaprabhu? What was the comment of Siman Mahaprabhu? Mahaprabhu say, You see, those who are demon, Hiranyakasibu, Hiranyakyo, Ravan, they also done Asturian. So what? So what? You think by Asturian finances you can get me? Oshuro top kare tahi ki fall. Those demons also. Demons, they are doing such estrogen finances that even demigods cannot do. No, no such example in the whole human history. No. So powerful. Hiran Nagashivu. No bhuto, no bhavishwati. Nobody done in the past, no in present or in future, nobody can do. So high. So, after that, what is the net outcome? What is the net outcome? To insult Bhagavan Guru Vaishnava. And after, going to destroy himself. So, Mahaprabhu speaking, those who are demons, they are also doing as student. So what? What do you think? By student parents, you can get me? That's why in Gauriya Mad, many times I discussed, Balanced Vairagya, Yukta Vairagya, balance. All your activities should be for the complete satisfaction of Bhagavan. Guru Maharaj one day, hey, you take rest. I know Maharaj, now morning, no, you take rest. So by the order of Guru Dev, and sleeping, that is called bhajan. By the order of Guru Dev, even if I am sleeping, that is called bhajan. But if I, without by violating pure Guru Vishnu and Bhagavan, if I show myself, expose myself, I am doing bhajan, then like Ravan, I can get destroyed. No outcome. No net outcome. So, Yukta Vairagya is very important. This same chapter, I can open tomorrow. Today I also, because yesterday I wanted to speak so many. Now one very important poem I like to clarify. I already touched, but still. Remember, each and every activity is my going on now. Even one leap in the tree, not hanging and swinging without the desire of Bhagavan. Now you can say, what I am doing wrong activity, all by the desire of Bhagavan. You can say this way. Somebody can say, oh, Maharaj, you are speaking everybody. Can. Yes. This point should be very clear inside your heart. Everything directly or indirectly controlled by Bhagavan. It's hundred percent. Directly or indirectly. But those who are pure devotee, they are getting direct instruction inside heart. That is the reason for why you are chanting Gaitya Mantra, Prachodaya. Bhagavan, you give inspiration so that I can do some nice activities, pure. So, pure devotees, they are getting direct instruction from Bhagavan. And those who are in Maya, they are getting also instruction from Bhagavan, but through Maya Devi, not directly. They are also getting instruction, but through Maya Devi. Their instruction coming through Maya Devi. According to their previous wrong activities, according to their all wrong sanskar, 
according to their all bad sanskar, they are controlled by some devil engaged by Maya. But if somebody done so many things wrong, but now at present want to be controlled by Guru Vajda, I am not speaking about them. I am not speaking about them. I am speaking about those who are under the control of some devil engaged by Maya Devi. Because suppose somebody wants to drink wine according to previous samskar. Surely Bhagavan cannot say, don't. Bhagavan can speak in the form of Sadhguru Vishnu or in the form of scripture. It is written. It is prohibited. But anyway, Bhagavan directly not speaking. Why, why you are drinking wine? Cannot speak. Can speak? No. Bhagavan directly cannot speak. In Shastra it is written, Guru Vishnu speaking, different advice by Bhagavan in different Shastra routine. But he, is, he or she is drinking wine according to his previous sanskar because he or she never met with Guru Vaishnava before. So, what Bhagavan can do? Bhagavan cannot directly interfere. Bhagavan cannot directly interfere with your fanciful desire to drink wine. It's not. Bhagavan cannot directly interfere. Bonded soul, given some liberty, he can do, cannot do. Bhagavan never directly tried to interfere. Hey, don't do that. It is not game. Tomorrow I can explain this point. So, he is getting, he or she is getting inspiration according to previous sanskar. I mean, the, what you are in computer, you are doing all job. At the same time, always you have save button. Tuck. Always doing seva, uh, doing some, uh, always, every time you have to save. If you are failure to uh, save everything, then some problem can happen. All. Follow. So, all our activities are uh, automatic self fading. All automatic, automatic. Automatically, whatever I'm doing, all result staying there inside. Sanskar. Very, very difficult to cut all sanskar and to get free of Maya. So, Bhagavan surely can give you power, because power weapon, power coming. You are going to buy wine, you are drinking wine, so by whose power? By the power of That doesn't mean power is already there given to you. So, indirectly, indirectly you are controlled by some devil, I mean by Maya. Bhagavan is not directly responsible for whatever thing. Whatever bad result you are getting, Bhagavan is not responsible for Bhagavan is I never told you. I never told you to do some wrong activities or right activities. My name, pop, sinful activities or... I never told. I told you, come to me. But you never coming. So, it is written, Bhagavan speaking, No adatte, no adatte kasachit papam, no chaivo sukritim vibhum, I never ask anybody to do wrong activity, right activity. I, what is concerned? I ask them, you do some devotional activity. Try to drink Amrita. Mai bhakti hi bhutanam amrita. But they are not drinking. They are going there. What I can do? So, they are given some liberty. If they are going to misuse that liberty, they can get result. If they are going to use that liberty properly, they can get nice result. Bhagavan has nothing to do. I can explain, start from here, same thing, what I explain. What slok? Tomorrow again I can open and, and discuss. Anyway, so today I will have to stop here. No time. So, Jnanataha Sulabha Muktir Bhuktir Yajyadi Punnataha Sveyam Shadana Sahasrair Hari Bhakti Shudur Labha this I can explain tomorrow. Vancha kalpata roshiki basana. Patitanam kvavane bhavishnaya.